Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So I thought today I'd just film a real chill get to know me video so some of you can get to know me a little bit better, you know, my life outside of property, whatever. Obviously at the minute we're social distancing so if you've got any ideas of videos you want to see, please let me know. There have to be things where like I don't need to leave the house. I think my mum is going to be coming to my house as well so if you want to see me film any videos with her then let me know. But yeah, I just want to keep the content really lighthearted, chill, give people a bit of an escape. So yeah. Right, so I asked for the questions on Instagram. First question, what are your hobbies? So my hobbies include pole dancing, going to the gym, going for food, going for drinks. That's pretty much it. I'm a bit boring. And now we're doing this whole social distancing. I'm about to find some new hobbies that I can do in my house. Right, next question. Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh my God, I get like so nervous when people ask me that because I honestly do not know. Like I'm just kind of riding the wave, seeing where life takes me. Like I really, really don't know. Like I don't have like five year goals. Even setting one year goals this year was like a lot for me. I was like, Ooh. So yeah, I really don't know. Um, I guess I'll be like 27, nearly 28. So I'd hope by then I've brought my own personal home. Like I'm sure we'll buy many investments in that time but like I hope I've brought my own personal home because like I feel like that's still like a really big deal for me to buy my own home. I feel like by then I'll definitely be running multiple businesses and have different streams of income but I'm just not like clear on okay I want to do this 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 I just want to see where life takes me you know. I'm not gonna lie I hope by then I have had a kid just putting it out there. <laughs> so someone said where are you from so I don't know if you mean like family background or in England but I grew up in a little town called Halford near Birmingham then I moved over to Birmingham but my family are Jamaican. So someone said what's your favourite meal? I'd say at the minute my favourite meal is definitely fajitas with chickpeas because I am a vegan um, so that's literally what I've been eating every day for probably the past two months or something. Been loving fajitas. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say fajitas. Next question, how do you stay so motivated in the gym? I feel like definitely having a personal trainer has really helped me. Yeah, that's the way works. Get up and get one I'm pretty sorry. Mm. Like, I started training with my PT last year and that definitely like made a big big difference like I would not have stayed as motivated if I didn't have a PT because he just pushes me to you know do things but like I feel like once you get it into your head that you want to be the type of person that goes to the gym all the time you just kind of become that person if that makes sense so so I kind of say just go as much as you can and then you'll just become like a gym person like that will just be your thing I think but yeah defo I'd say the main thing is having a PT and go into like the classes as well and getting to know other people that go to the gym and making friends with them that's really helped me out like this year because yeah it's just like nicer to go when you've actually got mates to go and see if that makes sense next question how old are you so i'm 22 23 in june so this person also asked do you find it hard making friends because of your success i say now not really like i'm really just chatty with everybody like i just don't care i'll just honestly chat to anybody make friends with anybody like yeah i just honestly i'm not bothered and i feel like the types of places where i make friends like no one cares what i do for a living if that makes sense so like i make friends with people at like pole or at the gym and like nobody asks like what do you do for a living i don't know what they do for a living so i feel like i don't really find it hard to make friends because of my success success like I'm definitely like not where I want to be at all yet but I'd say at the start when I was going to different like networking events and training events I was definitely meeting people who were just not genuine and I really struggled because I was kind of thinking like oh my god am I ever going to be able to like make friends like is this just my life now like you know you can just tell that people have kind of like trying to lurch onto you and trying to like take what they can get from you like I literally had someone say to me that I met at like a networking thing or whatever that they were only chatting to me so they could get property advice and I was like no that's not cool man like how are you going to admit that to my face as well um so I think after that I was very like cautious of people and very wary and I was just like mm, like I don't even want to make friends but I would say that was only because I was going to like the networking and the training events and things like that but this year it's been completely fine like I've actually met loads and loads of like really cool people like all the people that have been on my channel like those people that I've met and then yeah just people at the gym and stuff like that but um 
but yeah to be fair i'm not really one of those people who like makes friends too quickly if that makes sense like i'm not gonna meet someone and then just be like oh my god this is my best friend like it takes a lot for me to be able to say like this is my friend but i definitely had a tough time like trusting people at the start and being like mm, is this person genuine or like do they just want to get into property do you know what i mean so yeah right so the same person actually asked are my new date intimidated by your success well first of all i haven't even been on a date literally since last june it's been honestly ages so my dating life is just dry at the minute nothing's happening um <laughs> just to clear that up but that's just kind of because i can't really be bothered i'm just working on myself focusing on myself you know i just i just really i'm not feeling dating at the minute I've definitely had guys make like little comments or they try and make it out as if they're like a big deal almost as if like they feel intimidated so they've got to make themselves seem a big deal when really it's like whatever but I've also had that from like older women um so yeah I don't know I wouldn't say it's affecting my dating life because I'm not trying to date anyone right now anyway but yeah to be fair I do feel like guys don't move to me as much nowadays but I can't tell if it's because I don't go out or if it's because I'm not at uni anymore or like what I wouldn't want to sit here and say like it's because I'm in property and they're intimidated by me I'm just like yeah like no one really tries to chat to me anymore so yeah right next question would you rather go without a new hairdo or getting your nails done 100% a new hairdo like I could last with bare nails but like I get stressed when I don't like my hair like at the minute I'm literally desperate to go back to black like I just need to so yeah, definitely nails. Plans during self-isolation. I just really wanna like relax and read books and watch films and chill. I've actually hired a video editor to edit all my blogs and all my videos that I'm gonna be putting up. So I can just really take the time to relax a little bit more. I was starting to get a bit stressed because I started doing three videos a week and that was like quite a lot for me. It's quite a lot of editing. So I've hired a video editor now and I'm hoping that'll give me a bit of time to chill out a little bit more, do you know what I mean? Someone said, what's your favourite book to read? This is hard because there's so many books that I love. Um, it depends. No, do you know what I'm going to say? My favourite book that I think everyone should read and I learnt the most from is called Lost Connections by Johan Hari. It's about depression and anxiety and yeah, it's just a really good book and I highly recommend it. So someone said, do you believe in any conspiracy theories? Do you know what? I've never really looked into conspiracy theories, like I've never been that type of person. But now that we're social distancing, I'm like, maybe this is the time to start like looking into them. Like, I just feel like now is the time. So if anybody knows where I need to go to find out about different conspiracy theories, then please let me know. I mean, I don't believe things like the earth's flat. Like I know that people still think that, like I really don't think the earth is flat. Um, so yeah. Next question, if you weren't doing property, what would you be doing? 100% I'd be working in marketing. I'd probably be like a self-employed social media assistant or manager or whatever. Like, I feel like that's just, yeah, I feel like that's the only thing I wanted to do. Like when I used to work in marketing before, I used to work for like really boring companies. Like I worked at a recruitment agency. But um, yeah, I'd hope that I'd be doing marketing for a really cool like startup or something. What's one thing you cannot live without? Carmex, I honestly can't stand having dry lips. Carmex is just my thing, like I literally have them all over my house, in all of my bags, like Carmex is life. So yeah, Carmex. Uh, next question, do you have any brothers or sisters? If not, do you ever wonder what life would be without one? Yes, yeah, so I've got two older half sisters on my dad's side. And to be fair, because I never lived with them, I always feel like I grew up like a bit of an only child. So I feel like I kind of know what it's like to have both. Like honestly, a lot of people see me as an only child and I'm like, no, I've got like two sisters. Um, so yeah, I kind of feel like I know what it's like to be an only child, but to have like brothers and sisters. I do always wish though that my mom had had a baby. Even the other day I asked her if she wanted to have another kid because I do feel like I would have liked to have a younger sibling and someone to like grow up with in the house and things like that. And like my older sisters are quite a bit older than me. So I always think it would have been nice to have a younger sibling who I could have bullied, who I could have play fighted with. Do you know what I mean? It just would have been cool. So yeah. Uh, next question. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I'm living my best single life. I'm just happy single, chilling, you know. I felt like I was starting to get open to the idea of dating again. But now we're on self-isolation. So clearly it wasn't meant to be. 
so yeah i'm just happy living my best single life chilling and yeah so guys those are all the questions thank you so much for sending them in someone did mention they wanted to see me do a reaction to people's assumptions about me so maybe i'll do that i don't know but yeah, definitely let me know what other videos you want to see. And uh, thank you so much for watching this q and Hopefully you feel like you got to know me a little bit better. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Leah underscore Millet as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>